My name is Tandolwetu Zuelake Lamine. Tandolwetu, which is my first name, um, it means our love. Um, so my name is Jadisola Akinwinton. Jadisola means come out to God in um, the Nigerian language of Yoruba. So. My name is Adam. Yes, um, so originally it's pronounced Adom, and it comes from uh, the Ethiopian Bible, the Orthodox Bible. And I mean, I've kind of grown to people calling me Adam because that's like the way people pronounce it here, and I'm totally okay with it. Um, it means, it's like, it's an adaption of Eden, like the Garden of Eden. It just means like the Garden of Heaven. seven years ago and I came on a working visa. Me and my family were granted a working visa to come to the U.S. seven years ago to live here. Um, life was kind of getting a bit interesting back home so we decided to come here. I came to the United States for the first time on the 14th of August 2015 and um, that was because I was coming to, to, to Duke University and I'd say that the major reason behind me coming to the United States is opportunity um, because I received a scholarship to come here at Duke. And My family and I, we moved a lot um, to a lot of different places, first Belgium, then England, and then here because my dad was trying to pursue an education and a better career. for sure that I've seen is like there's a negative connotation um, to being from Africa and here and not only the fact that there's a negative connotation but there's like a generalization like no one is ever from a certain country everyone's just from Africa and that was really odd to me to like people telling me I'm from Africa not from like the specific country that I'm from. People here, people here are more outgoing and very expressive there's a like I'd say that people People back at home are very conserved and conserved in terms of like basically being, not necessarily being loud, but saying what you want and um, being free to actually stand your ground even if you're a child or the way that you speak back to other people. Um, I'd, I'd say that is one other difference that I've noticed here that, you know, in order to survive, you need to be able to stand your ground and stand for what you believe in and ask questions other than back at home where like sometimes once you're told something you need to just follow suit and never like usually in Nigerian in Yoruba culture um, when you see an elder um, usually of men usually um, go down on the well just like you have different greetings for men and women towards elders and there's definitely this whole like element of how you speak to people different ways you talk to elders and younger people um, it's definitely not, I don't really see it as much here in the States. I think that's definitely one visible thing that I see here. Um, optimism, I feel like, is one thing. Maybe, that's not, I don't want to say like it's part of culture of everyone who's from Ethiopia, but in terms of my family and like the, the area that I lived in, Optimism was kind of the thing that kept you going. So the fact that I try to stay positive about a lot of things around here impact other people in a better way and make me live in a better way. I was raised with uh, with a uh, high emphasis on humility and respect for other people, including like that is um, adults and also people of my age. And um, that has actually helped me Sort of like be able to get along with most people that I know. I learned my parents raised me to treat everyone with, once again, respect. Um, just, just the different values that I was raised with at home, um, in line with the Nigerian, with the Yoruba culture, um, just being generous to everyone, being kind to everyone, just things like that. I feel like I've, I've 
I don't want to say adapted, but I've learned a lot more and like seen why those things are the way they are. But on other people's culture, I've become a lot more open. Like I've learned a lot of other people's cultures because everyone is from everywhere around here. And um, I've developed like an appreciation for what people value in their, in their lives and their culture. My experience here has kind of like increased my knowledge of like different um, um, like basically an understanding of um, a deep understanding of things like uh, topics like ways and so Duke definitely especially just I think being on any college campus you're introduced to a lot of a lot more different opinions in which you grew up with um, so definitely I want to say that the Nigerian the Yoruba culture um, is a lot more conservative in certain ways and coming to Duke University I've been open to a lot more um, ranges of opinions concerning like and sexuality and all of these things that allow me to have a more open mind and so when I implement that in my like when I go back home because I have this new opinion these new opinions that I've faced at Duke University it allows me to incorporate that when I go back home and when I'm with other Nigerians Definitely, yes. Like, one of my favorite things is getting to meet new people and just getting to... Um, I really love seeing people from different parts of the world, different cultures, just different areas of the United States themselves. Um, so, it's been really fun, people who engage me both intellectually and socially. So it's been really nice for me. Um, Lika Malami Zuelake, Tandere to Lamini, um, me Kabuga Swati, the Kingdom of Swaziland. Janice Solan, you call me and Nanjani me.